everybody welcome back to buddy spirits and cigars and we are here for another episode howdy uh, we are going to go over some rum this time so that might make you a little happier well, it's not I a bourbon i think so so we'll uh we'll see how cam feels about this one uh kevy you brought this one uh, mm -hmm. i don't know if you have any uh, thing to say about it uh baku is that how you say I, it? should i guess um you didn't so, look on the internet at least once no <laughs> no as some might say i'm kind of a redneck so either way um i was in the liquor store the other day and was like hmm i want to try something new settled on that because i happened to see well it's like a 20 dollar bottle that's aged eight years apparently and it's finished in bourbon barrels or aged in bourbon barrels so like, hmm, I love bourbon. Not necessarily a rum guy that I know of. I've tried some, you know, sailors and some of those spice rums. I don't really care for like clear rum Bacardi, you know, I've never been a big rum guy. But I must admit, the first bottle I bought didn't last that long. I mean, it was gone within a couple of days. So it's only 80 proof. You so enjoy it. I want to enjoy the hell out of it. So. Damn. You know, speaking of the redneck thing, we had somebody that uh, wrote on our, one of our videos something about calling us rednecks and all this other stuff. I mean, uh, I mean, I you know, I don't know what you expect from people that are live in Arkansas and Oklahoma, <laughs> but I mean, this is kind of yeah. <laughs> kind of how we are. Yeah, but kind of our thing. That uh, yeah. they erased their comment, so I didn't get to read the whole thing. I just yeah. seen the preview. I'd like to have read it. Well, come on back and yeah. leave it again. Yeah, yeah. Come, come on, yeah. leave it. Share I your mean, thoughts, you goon. I mean, You're we not even a goon. I mean, I really want to know what you have to say about us. Well, I mean, he's we, a goon. We, we, we can handle he's it. Hate. I mean, he cussed at us, right? Did he? I, man, I don't know. I couldn't see. I only could see the preview, like the first line. Uh, he's calling us rednecks and all this stuff. I don't know how to, if it had to do with the mullet I mean, or our accents. I, or, yeah, I sure hate if I'm bringing. I mean, in. I don't feel like I have an accent. I feel like everybody else has accents, not me. That's true. Yeah, that's but, exactly right. Yeah. Hey, that's that's. I mean, this is. Speaking of that, sorry, that's where we are in the yeah. world. <laughs> so, yeah. that's what to, makes us us, okay? Yeah. I went to New York City one time, mm -hmm. and a guy from Michigan. I know he's from Michigan because the way he sounded, and was he from Michigan? And his hoodie that he was wearing was a Michigan Wolverine University of Michigan uh -huh. Wolverine hoodie. Okay. And he says to me and my buddy, "Whoa, you guys should keep on talking." <laughs> I'm like what? You know, we're in there like astounded at this guy. You know, he's got the ooey, 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 you know, that shit going on. Man, it was weird. The weirdest, the weirdest one for me is somebody talking about my accent is, and it just still blows my mind to this day. So I met a girl that, um, she's from Tulsa, Oklahoma City, somewhere over so, there. So those are the two largest <laughs> cities that we have in, in Oklahoma. But anyway, mm -hmm. so she, she said I had an accent. Uh, I'm like, uh, same, what? same state yeah. kind of deal. Yeah. And I'm like, she's, she's one of those culture girls from. Uh, I, yeah, I guess, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I don't know, but yeah. apparently, to her, I guess she was lived in the city her whole mm -hmm. life, or maybe she wasn't from there. I don't uh -huh. know, but she was living there at this present time. So I said I had an accent. So. Huh? Oh well. So I mean, maybe I do. I don't know, huh? but it is what it is. So let's get into yeah, the. Let's get rum. into this. Oh. Well. I hope it comes back. There's a comment again. Let's read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool. Hey, we can, we can accept criticism. That's fine. I don't want trolls. You know, I don't, I don't want people I, trolling and. I and actually kind of like trolls. But I'm not calling well, you again. Yeah. But either but way, I just did that fellow. Hmm. Sorry. So Sorry. I'm getting some uh, banana off of this. See, I was thinking it's either like banana, maybe some butterscotch. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, there's a butter. I'm, I'm closer to butterscotch than a banana. But. Per se. Uh, that's just me and my nose. Yeah, I mean, but definitely got a sweetness about it that. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. definitely sweet. For sure. For sure. Definitely yeah. sweetness. It's. Can I her, taste it now? Yeah, let's give her a try. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's spicy or not spicy, Cam? <laughs> I'll bet it's not. Watch me go. There's a little bit of an ethanol flavor on the nose, though. All right. So to me, mm -hmm. it almost takes me back now. I mean, it's not as pungent mm -hmm. as as what I'm about to say. Oh, dude. But just off of the initial part of the front of the palate, it takes me back to when I was a little kid, my dad 
always bought lifesavers. Uh huh. The butter rum. Butter rum lifesavers. Dude. Yeah. And so I was I like, you know what? Butter rum lifesaver. Yeah. Dude, you're missing out. Yeah. So he would always have those. And so I remember being in church and like, Dad, can I have a lifesaver? You mm -hmm. know, and he'd get out a lifesaver, let me have one, and he always had butter rum. And mm -hmm. that really, yeah, this right here, mm -hmm. that's what it. Yeah. After tasting it, that, that's the first thought that hit me was butter mm -hmm. rum. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. It, it really, is I delicious. think so. I mean, they've got a five year, they've got an wow. eight year, and a 12 year. And I've had we, all of them. What are we having? This, this is the eight year. Eight year. Um, I like the eight year better than the 12 and better than the five, which, you know, that's well, just me. I certainly enjoy it. I mean, so if you'll taste this and then right after you taste it, smell. Smell of it. I had been doing that earlier. And that is pretty not, much what uh, butter rum smells like. Let me see. It, it's good. That, that, I mean, that really did take me back to childhood yeah. as far as the, the yeah. way that hits the front of the yeah. palate and the initial flavoring. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's... So, as far as the other years, is it the same um, bill that that this is built off of and just aged longer or so. is it a different no I, I, th I assume it's the same it's just how they're aged because uh -huh. they all say that they're aged in bourbon barrels so and your impression five eight and twelve i like the, so eight, like the, the best. eight the best yeah. what was the what was what do you like better about this than you did the five and the eight or five and twelve the five just seemed a little there wasn't as much flavor and maybe a little more <laughs> ethanol forward. I don't, you know. Okay. Um, and then the, the 12, it, I don't know that, maybe I was just expecting more from a 12. I, I guess maybe, you know, because that, believe it or not, is somewhere around a $20 bottle. And I don't really drink a lot of rum, so I don't know if that's an expensive bottle of rum or, uh, to me, that's fairly cheap, you know, when you're spending, you know, up to, you know, a couple yeah. hundred bucks on a bottle of whiskey if you want. Um, so, in the the twelve, I think it was twenty five to thirty. I don't exactly remember. Mm -hmm. um, all reasonably priced, I thought. Um, right. But I just I don't, I don't know that the the eight was just maybe it's my first love. Uh, and, I, I mean be. that was the first one I tried. So, did you notice a difference in the way it hit your palate versus like or or even the smoothness the you said five was more alcohol forward. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the, I felt like maybe it's, you know, the butterscotch banana flavor that I, you know, and maybe even there's a little bit of cinnamon in. Yeah, I see. Um, or nutmeg, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a, a baking spice, so mm -hmm, to speak. Mm -hmm. That's it, a little spice to it, I agree. Um, Nothing bad. Nothing no, 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 it's not no, like no. toothpaste spicy. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's exactly right. There I is mean, no it, toothpaste spice in that bad boy right in there. In the grand scheme of things, it's spicy or not spicy? Yeah, it's not spicy. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it doesn't burn. No, um, no. The uh, the twelve year injury. didn't have. Uh, what did it not have? I'm trying. I don't really know that I can put my finger and just say this, other than to say that I for some reason I just like the eight better. Maybe it's the price point. Maybe there's not enough difference that you know. I can spend 20 bucks or 25, I'll spend 20 and get the same thing. All right, yeah. that's perfectly fine. Well, that's fun. a consideration I mean, yeah. to take into it. More expensive, doesn't all, yeah. More expensive <laughs> doesn't always mean better. Exactly, So exactly. Um, so. And if, if, if that's one thing that you can really drive home to people that decide they want to get into bourbon cigars, you know, any kind of spirit yeah. really, is more expensive does not always mean better. Um, Sometimes the reason it's more expensive is because it's just hard to get. It's a supply and demand thing. Mm -hmm. um, other times, it, it might be it's yeah. more expensive because it's made with more of a rare mm -hmm. uh, bill or something yeah. that, you know, something that they can't or how get long a hold it's of aged aged or how long it's aged. Yeah. Usually if it's aged longer, it's more expensive. Mm -hmm. That is, is there's less because of evaporation and crap like that. That's almost... So always goes hand in yeah. hand. If it's yeah. aged more, it's more expensive than those that are that are newer. And sometimes, you know, that age can put, those wood flavors in the barrels can really impart some funky mm. notes that- Take hold. Yeah. No, know. that's true. Yeah. Uh, you know, usually if it's aged more, you've, you've got, it, it accepts more of the woody taste of, of a barrel. Yeah. You know, usually it's more, 
oak ear or mm -hmm. something like that, yeah. depending on what it's aged in. But um, man, that's that's a really good rum, and mm -hmm. I'm kind of like you. I don't always be, now. I like some scotches, mm -hmm. which we're fixing to do on the show uh, probably next episode, uh, give or take an episode or two. So mm -hmm. um, I like some scotches too, but I don't necessarily veer too far away from bourbons I, and I, not I, that I i'm either. opposed to trying yeah. i'll yeah. try i'll try them but this is something i would definitely get a bottle of and keep around it would probably get in some stuff to mix you oh know? yeah yeah i um, mean I, with it being you know the holidays have passed us but i mean you could probably make a hell of an eggnog out of that or a rum punch or you know some sort of you know holiday type you know warmed punch or whatever it is that you know old folks used to make i say old folks young folks too but yeah mostly i'm a boomer so as somebody would like to point out well you've got you've just uh you've got this uh i was raised by boomers okay so you're an old soul <laughs> <laughs> that, that's his just got more wisdom than some people because of his age that's not that's not old it's wisdom no I mean, with with age comes some wisdom i mean but here probably more well-rounded i would mm. say you know because you you the older you get the more exposure you have yeah. to life and think yeah you were i making mean making a fat joke weren't you <laughs> 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 hey, i'm not no. fat i'm festively plump or something oh like that oh my yeah. god um <laughs> anyway but you know well-rounded in in the strictest sense of the term, yes, I'm I'm well, more well rounded than than Mr. Camo there, but uh, in a cultural sense, he's been to Europe, he's been to New York City. I you know, I've not been to those places. I will say Europe is crazy. Yeah. You look at some shit that's like thousands of years old, mm -hmm. that will yeah. blow your mind. Yeah. It should, at least. I don't know if it does, well, but it should. Well, I mean, I'll be honest. If I had not been for the military, I wouldn't have been to, you know, I wouldn't have went overseas and experienced the things I've experienced either. So, yeah. I mean. It seems like a super hardcore experience. I mean, I mean one, you're physically dislocated from everything you've ever known. Then you go ahead and add on the context of you're this is a war. Zone. Yeah. Man, dude, ah. Well, setting setting aside the fact that it was a war, <laughs> there there are some good. There was some good experiences that I had over there. Things I got to see and experience that I never would have otherwise. You know, just seeing like even going to certain bases and stuff. Just the history of the uh, even countries that have been there previous to oh, God, yeah. America being oh, there yeah. and seeing some of that because. You have some of those old buildings, you know, that were there that have, I mean, they tell, just all the stuff on the walls just tell a story. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I can it, see it being an incredible experience it, it's, when you it, it was crazy, man. It was, it was, uh, I'm, I feel proud to have done it, and mm -hmm. it's a great experience that, um, you know, I, I wouldn't trade it. I love that. I'm yeah. glad I got back home safe. And yeah, yeah my I'm glad you did, too. Glad you did, too. Yeah. But, oh, uh, shit fire. It was, to uh, save matches. It was an experience, man. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. I don't mean to go straight from no. heaviness of war into <laughs> no. this. No, it's still but, a live uh, conversation. <laughs> have you guys ever Googled how to light a cigar? As a matter of fact, I have. You will get 70 million matches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the one I was really excited about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of cigars, what are we smoking today, Turp? <laughs> <laughs> Seven that, million matches. Come oh, on. Son of a bitch. Come on. Um, this is a. Um, what, did, what, what did we get? It's a. Well, it's Maduro, is it not? Uh, what is it? It's the, it's the Disciple, isn't it? Uh, the Rocky yeah. Patel Disciple. So, okay. this is a new, new blend that he just came out with. And I'll tell you, this is not my favorite size in this cigar. Mm -hmm. um, I like the uh, 660, so mm -hmm. it's a larger ring gauge, so you get to experience more of the filler that is in the cigar. And I have, this is no lie, I have smoked over 40 different blends mm -hmm. from Rocky Patel. 
Um, like I said in a past episode, you know, he was kind of my first love coming into cigars, uh, his, his brand of cigars were, and that's kind of as far as premium cigars go. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not counting the gas station yeah. machine rolled <laughs> crap. <laughs> These are premium cigars, so that's a whole lot different, and that may offend somebody, but it is what it is. These these are all hand rolled. You so, told me you don't like a white owl white grape. No man, I'm, I'm what out. What the hell? I'm out, brother. <laughs> I'm not a machine rolled cigar guy. Just not doing it. And those are all those are all short filler and everything. They, I mean, you have a problem with ashes now on a long filler cigar. You can imagine. Did you imagine with a short filler cigar? I'll tell you. I mean, you wouldn't have that. Uh, you, if you, you could right have now. seen my car as an 18 year old young 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 man my god well i just assumed that there was lots of just loose tobacco you, you in there could anyway, imagine and maybe a razor just the issue <laughs> oh no baby you see these bad boys right here uh -huh. it's the best razor you'll ever find really? in your life mm -hmm. i don't know i'm never partaked in that so i wouldn't know anything about Same it Z's, yeah. not me but Lagoons. Yeah. anyway Lagoons. um boomer but I like the 660 a lot better. It's a it's a six inch cigar that's a larger ring gauge. You have more of the mm -hmm. filler that you get to taste and whatever his composure of that cigar was, mm -hmm. it, it, man. May I interrupt just for a moment? Uh -huh. That is one thing Joey mentioned uh, was the ratio to filler, uh -huh. between the filler and the wrapper that he imparted on us yeah. that just, yeah. I, it, never, it never would have come to me that so much flavor is tied up in the wrapper. The less filler you have, the more wrapper you have. The, le the less wrapper you have, the more filler you add. That just, mm -hmm. that is crazy well, to he, me. That just shows he hasn't watched the shorts that, mm -hmm. that uh, I've done. Well, I mean, I'm on, on your the own, show. I... Your own show, yeah. the shorts mm -hmm. that have been done, you would have learned that. Yeah. The, the thing that was kind of interesting to me that Joey was talking about, and I think it's, you know, it's kind of like one of those light bulb moments. It's like something that, if you would have really thought about it, you would have you would have kind mm -hmm. of known if you've been into cigars for any length of time. But the the airspace, yeah, yes, yeah. inside the cigars, mm -hmm. you yes. know, with and which is part of a reason why some cigars like if you have a smaller ring gauge, you have the cigar it'll burn hotter. Mm -hmm. You know, there's less air that's in there because yeah. it's 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 almost like it's wound a little tighter because mm -hmm. it's a smaller ring gauge. Mm -hmm. But as you get to a larger cigar, you have more air pockets and things that are inside the yeah. the filler. So you know, a larger ring gauge cigar burns cooler. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so you know, I guess really, if you'd have thought about that, I mean, as far as the base knowledge, you, that's something that you kind of have learned if you've been in cigars for very long. But I didn't never thought about it the way he put it and that uh that was interesting Which to me raises a question for me is a is a box press is it gonna is it gonna wound it tighter is it does it change that that air inside the cigar so when they make a box press it's, and it, all that is is a mold. Is so it, it just is. refers to the shape that the so they'll, cigar they'll, is being pressed let's into. Let's say they make a, a 60 ring gauge cigar, which right. uh, Rocky Patel's new uh, 60th cigar mm -hmm. uh, for his 60th birthday, um, that is actually a 60 ring gauge cigar. Okay. And then they put that into a mold. Mm -hmm. And that mold, basically it's like a shelf, if you will. Yep. Set the cigars down on that shelf and then you put uh, another shelf on top of that and you'll have you may have cigars stacked this high okay and then they'll put a plate on top of that and then they'll put it in a press and that okay. cigar will mold to whatever shape that those are right so right that means so like, a box press it stays pressed into that for a certain amount of time and does it whatever they decide and it takes that shape and as that tobacco and everything dries out and and then it no, it doesn't dry out completely, but as, right, right, as right, it right. off gases and everything, it right. takes that shape and then it, and it maintains that shape. So it's it's pretty cool how they do all that stuff. I really would like for us to be able to go do a tour over there. Yeah. I just bought some Davidoff Nicaraguan box presses. So yeah. I'm mm -hmm. kind of excited to see how those are versus just a Davidoff Nicaraguan. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, depending on 
you got to kind of compare ring gauges in that sense as to if you're going to have more of the bio, uh, the filler taste versus the wrapper, you know. But um, Davidoff makes some good cigars. They really do. I have really enjoyed their Nicaraguan. Yeah. I have really enjoyed it. Um, the Yamasa that they make, yep. I think that's a red band. Yep. Um, yep. It's a good one as, as well. So um, dive off into something. If you like it, dive off into it. It doesn't have to be a specific brand. So far, that's where I'm, that's where my heading is, is Davidoff. I like them. Hmm. Interesting. So, now, I don't know who the Sasakians are to Davidoff. If they're the, the guys or, but I just like listening to those guys. They're so sophisticated. It's just mind blowing. I could, I, I don't know. I like their vibe. Well, you know, you can, when you get into a particular brand and as you start to learn about that brand and you really start diving into history and and things of that nature man you can really see the storyline play out from where these people started or maybe they didn't even get it started but they ended up purchasing it from somebody that kind of started it but and but for most of these cigars it's been like a family heirloom type right, thing. Right, so right. they they will pass this down generation to generation, and um, man, it's it's well, something and, amazing. And you see a lot of them honor that with yes. every new benchmark, every new milestone. You see them pay it back mm -hmm. to those people that gave them the knowledge, gave them the they, skills, gave them the the name. Yeah, they definitely you can pay see them to pay. Those guys. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I love doubt. that. And that's part of the culture that draws me into it. Is it's so deeply embedded in them that they keep paying it back. It's not just a one-off. You know, it's not this one brand that does. It's everywhere yeah. across the board. They give it back somewhere. Well, and, and and over there, you know, it's not. You hardly ever see a you know a sibling or or some or an offspring come up through and be raised in this and be like, eh, I don't want anything to do with that right, business. Right, I mean, right, right, right. It's really a pride thing. Yeah. It's really, you know, it's about um, your heritage as a family. I mean, it, it really means something to them. So keeping that stuff going is, is huge. Absolutely. It really is. Absolutely. So, you know, I mean, like you said, for most brands that come from from uh, Nicaragua, Estelí, Nicaragua, and things like that, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, 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 a, it's a big deal. It's crazy to me how big of a deal Nicaragua period is and that, that's just mind-blowing to me that place is just yeah i mean central it america is the place to be it's crazy as yeah. far as tobacco cigar goes yeah. tobacco yeah yeah yeah, yeah the... well and it can be dangerous too i mean you know but the thing is is a lot of times they don't mess with tourists because that's you know it's kind of like biting the hand that feeds you, you know? right Right. And they know if people are coming over there, they're interested and they are there for cigar purposes or, to, you know, looking, doing the tours and all that stuff. For the most part, they're not going to mess with you a lot because, you know, and if you go do a tour, you have a guard and stuff like that. But right. the thing is, is they don't mess with you much because that's what helps keep that country thriving right, and, right. and maintaining. So it's a big, it's a gigantic industry over Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, they've got it figured out, man. It's crazy the, the simple things they have figured out to keep this stuff going and and preventative measures for, you know, bugs and wind and all that stuff messing up the plants and it's crazy. Okay, look, see that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna now you couldn't do that with a gas station cigar. I'm going to you know, make that bad boy off because this time. it's taking a turn, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and knock her off there and lop it off before I drop it. You know what we should do one episode is you say gas station cigars, is we <laughs> should do like some gas station cigars paired with some gas station tall boys. Oh, uh, why don't you do that on your channel? Yeah. No, dude, let's so do it. So if you guys do don't it. know this, <laughs> Cammy yeah. has his own channel. It's uh, called Gas Station Tall Boys. You guys are going to love it. I mean, listen, it, you're talking about a review. This man over here can give you a review of it, a Gas Station Tall Boy. It is very entertaining. <laughs> go look Go look it up. Yeah. Look it up on YouTube. I wasn't trying to... 
That yeah. wasn't a plug on my part. Yeah, but we're going to yeah. plug you. Yeah, yeah we're going to. Yeah. Uh, we're well, gonna we're plug at least going to promote it. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. plug you, but yeah. we're going to promote it. I love <laughs> the idea. I love it. I think, I think you know. Because like, we've all spent time at the gas station <laughs> looking at those damn tall boys. Yes, absolutely. And <laughs> for you to go through the pain and heartache that those have brought on, a couple of them. Uh, some of them are horrible. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, we would all earth. be making faces like we did on the gin that yeah. Cam brought, you know. So and that earthquake crap was, yeah. This is this is spirits. We, we're not diving yeah. off into the. I don't even know what you'd call some of those uh, malted <laughs> beverages. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I think that maybe. Yeah. Well, either way, go we'll look it up. Yeah. Hey, but. We're getting close to time, folks. Yeah, which yeah means, we're gonna we're gonna let you yeah. guys go. I know the last couple episodes have been a little more serious, but we kind of wanted to dive off into try to do a little bit more education stuff on some of these um, to try to answer some questions that have been brought to us, and um, we hope you learned a few things. Uh, thank you for your support. Once again, we really appreciate it, and um, we'll see you on yeah. the next episode. I want to give a quick shout out oh, to. Oh, yeah. To Aaron Lindsay, one of our super fans. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Apparently, I snubbed him the other day. Oh, that's a couple of weeks ago. Well, no, yeah, I mean, but yeah. Sorry, no one, you know, it was not my intent. Um, I don't remember what was going on, but I recognized you. I think I said hi. If I didn't, I'm sorry. But hey, you're the best. Thank who's you. Who's the, the Timmy guy that was in the herf? Is that his name, Timmy? Tim. Tim? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. What was his suggestion that we should try? It's a higher proof. A, we figured I might like it though. Wild turkey rare the, breed. Yeah, and there you go. A, my father. Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, one of the my father cigars. I'm not sure. The judge maybe. Aye. Uh, so, uh, Tim, mm -hmm. please don't think we forgot about you. We will be doing that. Um, we've just had some uh, other spirits and stuff fall in our lap mm -hmm. that uh, yeah. just we had them, so we took advantage mm -hmm. of that so but we will get a bottle of uh the wild turkey rare breed mm -hmm. and, and when uh, the time comes i'm gonna call you out when i give my my shout out my review of it it'll it'll be spicy alert, it's gonna be spicy <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your yes. support thanks Hope guys. you guys are having an amazing mm -hmm. year and uh thank you for helping start it off with mm -hmm. us and we appreciate it we'll catch you on the next one Bye -bye. later dudes